Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shikwetma people. Today, we are going to sing our bluebird song. And then we're going to read a book about how sunflowers and other plants grow. Then we will water my plants, the ones that we planted on May 6th. And then we will do a poem and we'll say goodbye. So let's start with our bluebird song. about sun and rain. And those are two things that plants need to grow. So let's look at our story. Here we have Watch It Grow by Barbara Reed. This book has many parts Today we're going to look at the part that talks about how sunflowers and other plants grow. We will watch a sunflower grow. Here, it's winter time. The sun is shining, but it's not very warm yet. There's snow on the ground. Can you see those little tracks? Someone has been walking in the snow. This is a sunflower seed. The sunflower grows from a little seed. The seed has a hard shell to protect it from the cold winter. Oh, it looks like spring is coming. There's still some snow falling, but it's a little warmer because the snow on the ground has melted. Here we have our spring robin and some early buds are coming on the tree. The spring rain makes the seed split open. Look at the seed. It has opened up. The root pushes down into the earth and brings water to the growing stem. This green part here is the stem. The stem will go above the earth and the root will go down. The roots and the stem grow quickly. In a few days, there are two leaves. They turn the sunshine into food for the plant. Plants are very amazing because they can turn sunshine into food. There's a big shovel. Someone's starting their garden. The 
the stem grows straight up. Soon there are more and more leaves. Look at all those leaves. A big flower bud forms on the top of the plant. This is the bud. Looks like they were using their watering can to give the sunflowers a drink of water. By the end of the summer, the plant is very tall. Look, it's even taller than this boy. The bright yellow flower turns to follow the sun across the sky. See how the flowers have turned towards the sun? In the fall, the plant dies and droops, heavy with seeds. There's some seeds there. Birds and squirrels will eat most of those seeds, but some will stay hidden under the ground. Next year, they will grow into more big, beautiful sunflowers. The seeds are stored here in the center of the flower. And the squirrels and birds can take them out to have a snack. That's the end of that part. And that's how a sunflower grows. Um, now we're going to water the seeds that I planted on May 6th. They're here. Remember, we planted zinnias in this row and cosmos in this row. And here, my basil plant is still growing. I have been watering my plants every day. And I'll show you how I do that. Here I have my spray bottle with, filled with water. So I'll give them a good drink. I use my spray bottle so I don't give them too much water. Just keep them a little bit damp. Now I'll water my basil plant. There. We can check on them again next time. So we're going to do one poem and then we'll say goodbye. This is a new one I learned about a beehive. You know that bees who buzz live in a hive. Can you make a hive with your hands? Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch, and you'll see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Zzz. Thank you for joining me today. It's nice to see you. See you soon.